Hey guys. All right, let's see where your energy is tonight. Um, you guys, do me a favor and hit the like button. I am going to pull a message from a card deck because I don't know the name of this. This is uh, one of Dorian Virtue's card decks. And hmm, considering that I have it in front of me, I don't know what it is. This might be a Daily Guidance Angels deck. Daydream. It says, you will move easily. You you will more easily hear and receive our messages if you daydream regularly. Relax and open your mind to receive without directing your thoughts. Just notice any feelings, visions, or ideas as if you were watching a movie. This is uh, this is the seat of creativity. That gave me chills. Well, let's just say. You guys get the pieces of me that are on recording, but I daydream and I think a lot of stuff. I think of a lot of things, you know, as I watch you guys and I, I, I watch the videos back with you guys. Um, when you guys come on, I'm like, elevate. I'm like, you know, um, it's I, I'll, I'm saying elevate and I'm saying Monique and and Black Lacquer. I call her Black Lacquer, but it's BL. BLK lacquer, which is black lacquer. Um, you know, all of these different energies that come to me and talk to me during the lives. I say, talk to me. I talk back. You know, I talk back. Blessing in disguise. You guys are blessings in disguise to me. You guys may think that, you know, I'm a blessing to you guys or my, the, the readings come out, the readings come out the way they're supposed to, and you hear them the way you're supposed to hear them. But, you know, we keep each other motivated, you know, we keep each other motivated. We keep each other going, even just with me knowing that I do have a large following, you know, or I'm, or I'm creating a large following and people actually really understand my readings and understand my crazy you know but i'm in the background so i know we're gonna have a good time going live when i do decide to go live just the thing is i have to push the button you know i am who i am i don't um i don't try to edit my videos but you know me reading you guys's comments and me talking to you guys based upon the comments will slow the reads all the way down and will get us all off track and me saying this and saying that and pulling cards and affirmations it'll be a fun time you know so I, I look forward to it but again I have to mentally do it um yeah that's it so it's it's the imposter syndrome you know I know that I'm really good at it. anyway blessing in disguise you guys are a blessing in disguise what appears to be a problem is actually a part of the answer, uh, your answer prayers. You'll understand the reasons behind your pre uh, present situation as everything resolves. I tell you guys that all the time. Trust in heaven's protection and infinite wisdom to answer your prayers in the best way. So, uh, you know, the things that you're going through are blessings in disguise. I always tell you, it's, it's not only, you know, heartbreak. It's a lesson behind the things that you're going through, the time apart, the the energies that you're dealing with when it comes to a person, place, thing, or a situation, right? So uh, daydream, you know, listen to your, you know, those, 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 those moments that all these cards trying to come out. Listen to those silent moments. You know, I always sit in silence. No, I'm always talking to myself, but I normally sit in silence when I try to, you know, and silence my brain and I look at things, I see things, I get inspiration from things. And I know that those are energies and callings that, you know, the universe is telling me to go and be create creative, do this, do that. I drive up and down the highway to get motivation, education. Yeah. And I'm educating myself constantly. I'm, you know, I'm always in the page of pinnacles energy. Never stop learning because if you think you know everything, you know nothing at all. So, dry desert. I don't know what that is, but to me, that looks like some type of isolation. You trying to find your way out of a situation or a way to calmer waters or, you know, in the dry desert, there's nothing but cactuses. Maybe, well, this is weird because I don't know if I've seen cactuses with sand, but maybe, okay, fine. The dry desert, this could be a message, you know. Uh, wide open. You can be wide open to receiving. Actually, the card number 31 is here. That's what the dry desert is. So you could be 31. 
42 is wide open. You could be wide open and taking a, a leap, excuse me, in order to receive. And this to me is ghost lands. But guess what you see at the top of uh, uh, the card is uh, our sign, Cancer, right? Card number 17, you know, 17 could be a significant number. 35, which is education. You know, you could be going back at the age of 35 and completing some type of education or learning something new. You know, I don't know. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But that is where you are. So the dry desert. I'll go ahead and read it because I have the book right here in front of me. Um, and I want you to guys to get the message the way it needs to come out to you. So card number 31 says dry desert. Dig deep for inspiration and truth. Now is the time to become resilient and adaptable. Upright is your life presenting you with opportunities to seem that seem to yield nothing. Have your ideas dry have your ideas dried up? Does it feel like you're on an endless journey through a dry, hot, lifeless desert? This card reminds you that there, is, there are times when you are meant to be become resilient as your as you journey through harsher circumstances, it says you're being required to conserve your energy until, until after consistent effort, you reach the oasis you're searching for. Consider the creatures that live in these conditions. They have uh, adapted to thrive in spite of the outer environment. In the desert, water, essentials for life. In the desert, water, the essential for life, can be found deep underground. Go deep within yourself. Find your, find your truth there. Let spirit, spirit sustain you while you locate the real source. Whatever it is you're asking about will not be found in the conditions you're in until you move past the surface of things and choose to do the real work and discover um, the answers deep within you. This may not be this may not seem like the most productive time, but looks are deceiving. This is the most important place to find what's truly right for you. So be wide open. Find it. All right. That's what it's telling you. Card number 42 is open, is wide open. I'm trying to say that desert high, but wide open. You are free to express your uniqueness to the world and share in all bounties of life, endless possibilities. Uh, Excuse me, and share in all the bounties of life's in endless possibilities. Upright, all manner, uh, all manner of opportunities are presented to you at this time. The wide open card is a signal that you are that you're able to truly manifest your dreams and that your goals are in sight. Don't remain small and co contracted. Instead, expand your horizons beyond and what you believe to be your limitations you have a unique voice that needs to be expressed in the world i just said that to you guys but anyway <laughs> it's not about me it's about you guys um doo -doo 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 -doo. i have to read that part again you have a unique voice that needs to be expressed in the world the universe is supporting uh, a supportive of new ideas and approaches at this time so speak up and speak out this card is a sign of the maverick who free freely roams the wide open spaces of possibilities allow for a greater vision to replace old ideas as you dream a grander dream so that's being wide open allow your voice to be heard right ghost lands and that's really good that this is hella funny i live in the desert I am wide open and I'm letting you guys hear my voice and hear my crazy thoughts. I daydream a lot and I'm educating myself even more. Let's see what ghost slim means. I have a 17 year old, not quite 42, but maybe the 42 is when I decided to take a leap of faith in regards to just kind of putting myself first, which was not a hard thing, but I can't make this about me. I'm I'm saying that it is a blessing in disguise, but this is when you not not at my age, but just when you start to understand the energies that are around you and that surround you and the things that are, the universe puts in your face, then you'll start to see things in a different light. And that's what I'm trying to get you to understand. It says life isn't about finding yourself. Life is about creating yourself. You have to know, you know, it's not about finding. Again, you're looking. 
you're creating, you're creating space, you're opening up, you're saying the things that you've never said, you're doing the things that you've never done. And it to you, it might feel like a ghost land and that is dry, you know, or that you don't know what, why you're doing this, but the universe is guiding you. So listen, daydream, sit back, be still for a minute and daydream and try to figure out a way. Envision yourself doing something that you probably wouldn't normally be doing, but those things are the universe's way of sending messages to you without hitting you in the head. Bam. What does it matter? It doesn't, what did you hit me for? It doesn't matter. It's in the past. You get what I'm saying? So learn from that energy and learn from this read. Anyway, Ghostlands card number 17. Ghostlands, you can learn from the past and imagine a beautiful future, uh, but you must live in the here and now. Whenever you, uh, Whenever you set your sights too far ahead, you run into risks like lo like losing your footing. For rarely do you pre present the, the for rarely do the present and the future match up exactly on the enchanted map that is your life story. The future has no substance right now. It is a place that has to be, has no grounding as of yet. You can't live there. Yet you can take measured steps to towards a goal and or dream these steps are important now the same goes for nostalgia you can look into the past wistful, wistfully and uh, remember beautiful moments or revisit lessons uh, learned it says however you can't live there nor can you go back and change what was it says yesterday is gone forever live fully in the present the now is is the most important place to put your attentions it's magic it's magic it's magic reaches out in every direction further than the heart and the soul can see so that is where where you are with this energy so again listen i always say this yesterday is history the page of wands energy Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. The only thing that's real is the present moment right now. So enjoy it. You know, understand that these messages are blessings in disguise. Let's read education because it's at the bottom of the deck. I love you guys. Okay. I just want to say that and I send healing and I send all kind of strength and energy to you guys. I know it's hard and you guys uh, may be going through something or you're not understanding where you are and where, how to get there. And you know, you might feel used and abused and you're just like, you know what? Sit still, sit still and realize where you need to be. That's not living in the past or not living in the future. That's learning from the, the past and understand that the future has more opportunities. You just have to go after them. You got to be in the dry desert and dig deep. You know, you have to be wide open to open your voice, uh, open, open your mouth and to say what you want and to uh, just ba basically believe in what it is that you want to do. Take those leaps. That's basically how I kind of see it, see it. Right. So the education is here. Life is filled with lessons. Be teachable. I tell you guys that all the time. Wisdom comes from participating in life, not just by reading, reading about it. This card suggests that you might not have enough knowledge about what you seek, the direction to take your circumstances, or the nature of your inquiry. Important information is coming. Now is the time to go to school, ask a person who might know more than you, or find a teacher or a course uh, of study so that you can... Uh, so, so that you can more clearly understand what the next right action must be. Sometimes life unexpectedly, unexpectedly send, um, sends you to an unfamiliar school and you must learn by experience. Now is the time to be teachable, upon, open um, to change your perceived notions. Be a student and be willing um, to state the most powerful mantra of all. I don't know yet. So it's okay. Remember, never stop learning. Because if you think you know everything, then you know nothing at all. It's okay to say, I don't know yet. Yet. Add that yet. Remember? Yet. So that was a really good energy for somebody that needed to hear that. We are going to move forward with this. So remember, card number 31, 42. 17, 35, those are all significant. Remember, you are a blessing in disguise and the situations that you go through are blessings in disguise. You just got to have to realize how they play a part in the game of life and how you play it, right? So I'm going to go ahead and pull 
a few cards because I think those were really good messages. This card flew out. Two of Swords energy. The Two of Swords is trusting. The Two of Swords is indecision. The Two of Swords is the, the uh, solutions and difficulties. So you could be having difficulties right now, either in your current relationship or in a current situation. But because these people are sitting here and they have their backs turned when it comes to how they are being in a relationship or sleeping at night. Look, who wants to sleep at with their back turned towards somebody while you both are on the phone doing other things? So that's telling you why the universe is sending this energy to you and telling you to dig deep for the things that will re help you reinvent yourself. Be wide open to receive and also wide open to do things. The King of Pentacles is here. There's no reward without risk. Create opportunities and don't be afraid to fail. But the card comes out sideways, which means that you are afraid to fail. You are afraid to fail and to dig deep about the things that you need to know. But that's the reason why this cards came out and it lets you know that you, you know, in order for you to get through something, educate yourself first. You can you can jump out there and that's when all the blessings come, but if you're worried about what's going to happen, that's when the energy will stop you. So while you're sitting there, you need to put your phone down while this, your back is turned towards this person. Whether you live together or not, you need to put your phone down. And while they're texting or whatever, who cares? Daydream. Figure out what the universe is calling you to do. And that's why it said it in that way. You know, we have the King of Pentacles here and we have the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is confident, shines from the inside. When you love yourself, own your flaws, and rock them without caring what others think. If you get to the energy of understanding, there is no reward without risk. Create opportunities and don't be afraid to fail. This person is looks like he does wood shop or something, right? He loves to create uh, or to fix things, right? But if he doesn't know how to do this, so the first thing he can do, if you have that phone up, you better get on YouTube. You better get on YouTube and instead of you worried about what this person is doing and being sad, you know, because you're sad and he's enjoying messages. Look at that. Instead of you worrying about how this person is, what this person is actually doing, you need to be on YouTube listening and trying to rediscover the things that you're passionate about or even trying to figure out what you're passionate about. You know, educate yourself. Don't let anybody say that you don't know enough in order to be able to do something. Okay, the card that tried to come out is right here, and I'll pull it over. And if it comes out again, the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, you. if this person doesn't want to work as a team and create anything with you, then you have to figure it out for yourself, and it's hurtful. I know it is. It's hurtful, but that's the reason why the cards came out the way that they did. Because, yeah, the Nine of Wands energy is here. And so with the Nine of Wands energy being here, this is recognizing your strengths and also what's causing your, not necessarily demise, but... Your, your sadness or, you know, when it comes to uh, you not setting your boundaries, you know, because, you know, look at these kids back here and you're just with your head instead of you, you know, turning around and saying, OK, let me do this, even though I don't have the energy, I don't have the support um and get them in order you know you got to set boundaries with everyone including the kids you know and so with that being said the card that comes out now is the three of cups energy but this time the three of cups is in reverse and this is feeling distant this is gossip and this is overindulging so this person could be you know whoever this is yeah you need to have the page of cups energy oh also the ace of ace of cup ace of pentacles energy so the page of cups energy let's just say this before i lose my thought with this the page of cups energy is opportunities invitation for affection for yourself seeing the opportunities in yourself and in the situations that you have at hand seeing what you can create we have the ace of pentacles here the ace of pentacles is happiness joy and a new beginning so you have to create these new beginnings and that's why the universe is telling you educate yourself don't feel like you're just exactly in the ghost land you have to basically be able to hold on one second i'm recording i'm hold on okay so that's my son he wants something and was talking about prom anyway so just distract distractions my grandbaby is gone and now all of a sudden you guys haven't heard him say anything to me maybe but once or twice and now that she's gone he screams my name just he's funny anyway so the Ace of Pentacles is here. But what I was basically saying is with the Three of Cups being in reverse, you know, you have to understand that, you know, you feeling distant from, you know, this person, place, thing, or situation. But it's not about, 
this situation now because it's an issue here. You know, you're doing things alone, but you have to have confidence in regards to whatever you decide to do moving forward because there is a distance, you know. And the Ace of Pentacles being here is the joy, happiness, and a new beginning. But you have to understand that the only way through that is you digging deep. And that's basically what the universe is telling you. Dig deep for you to have your Nine of Cups energy. The Nine of Cups is going after your dreams, enjoyment, and what makes you happy. If that's you getting in the bathtub and trying to figure out when I said to be silent and to daydream, this is where you can probably find the time to daydream. Or we have the, yeah, the Eight of Wands in reverse. And so the Eight of Wands in reverse is uncertainty and frustration and miscommunication. So you are having all of these issues with this person. However, you know what it is that you want to go after. You've done the research and now you have to figure out how to take that leap and dig deep. Dig deep within yourself, you know. Um, hold on, I forgot what the, already this fast, what the card number 17 said, the ghost lens. You can learn from your past and imagine a beautiful future, but you must live in the here and now. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow's a mystery. The only thing that's real is the present moment. So enjoy it. The page of wands energy. Enjoy the present moment of where you are when you're in that bathtub, where you are sitting here and learning new things. The confidence that you have and may have had, you have to learn about that situation and move forward. We also have the fool in reverse. And the fool in reverse is uh, fearlessness. You have to be fearless and take risk. Again, going back to the king of pentacles energy, which is right here. You're unsure of it, but the, the energy, the universe is saying, we got your back. We got your back. You know, this is again, you know, like the full energy, you know, this is taking a risk though. This is either fearlessness or risk or being reckless. So you're not going to be reckless with yourself. You're going to be fearless. And remember, you're not going to live in the past or the future because they're not here yet. Only the present moment is here. And so with you learning from right now, this is where the blessing in disguise is come at. And with your high priestess energy, something that can only be understood through experience. Something that can only be understood through experience. And that is where you are. But again, you got to get into your page of cups energy. Seeing the opportunities and that uh, you are, you're passionate about. And going after the invitations that come from you having confidence. Because as soon as you start putting word out there with the things that you're trying to do with the right people who want to work as a team. Because remember, teamwork came out here. You know, you will have to, you know see and understand and make more sacrifices but this time you're not making sacrifices in regards to someone else you're making sacrifices in regards to yourself so that's the difference when it comes to this energy does that make sense i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna pull from one of these decks let me pull from the messages of the heart to get a good message i'm gonna shuffle this a couple of times because yeah i didn't shuffle it at the last read um I don't even think I used this in the last read. I guess from earlier, I didn't shut them. But yeah, you just need to understand that, you know, with not being able to see things in plain sight, a lot of people don't go after the things. And that's what's holding you on, holding you on. Take an aim. They have stepped into their power and taken action towards you. They will not miss the mark this time. That might be good. That might be bad. Hmm. Take an aim. They have stepped into their power and taken action towards you. They will not miss the mark this time. So this is probably you learning. You know, this could be your energy. You take an aim at the things that you want. Or somebody is trying to sabotage the energy with you, the rival. They choose someone else over you. And, want, and though it wasn't what they wanted, they thought it was the right thing to do. So that should just let you know why... This is a blessing in disguise because guess what? While you wait on this person to get it together, they're choosing people over you because, again, they they have stepped into their what they think is power. But they don't know true power until they deal with you on your in your Queen of Wands bag. And that's what they fear. And that's why they're, they're choosing somebody over you because they want somebody who is not going to be as powerful or, you know, uh, loving and understanding. Somebody that they can kind of control. I don't know how to say it, but anyway, that's kind of how I seen that and what came out my mouth. And I, you know, it was meant for it to be said, you know, but I'm going to pull another energy. And you know what, before I do that, let me pull from a music deck to see what comes out. But yeah, I just think that now, and this is what I mean by that, because if you don't go after the things that you want, you're going to be 
a home at home, you know, wishing that what if that what if energy and you don't need to be in that what if energy, because guess what? What if miss you? You know, it's been a long time. I am lost without you. What am I going to do? Said I've been needing you, wanting you, wondering if you're the same and who's been with you. Is your heart still mine? I want to cry sometimes. I miss you. See, that's where they'll end up. And that's why the rival came out like this because if you start working on yourself, you have no time and space for this person. They choose someone else over you and though it wasn't what they wanted, they thought it was the right thing to do. So there you have it. That's where they are. No letting go. So now they, they don't want to let go. No letting go, no holding back. Remember that song? Um, really, I really appreciate you loving me after all that we've been through. Really appreciate you loving me all the times. Uh, time it says, got somebody, she's a beauty, very special, really truly. G take good care of me like it's her duty. Want you right by my side night and day no letting go no holding back because you are my lady when i'm with you it's it's all that girl i'm so glad we dated so that's the energy that they're in but again you you don't have time for what you had time for in the beginning you don't have time for the bullshit you know you don't have time for it you know the games the playing things like that so that's why it's telling you you create water in that dry desert. You got to dig deep in yourself and find your strength. You have to in order for you to, yeah, be compassionate and nurture yourself though. This is the, this is your guardian angels. These people that saying here to daydream so that you can get the energy that we're trying to send to you. These are the people saying to dig deep, to be wide open, to live in the now, not in the past and hold on to the past energies or the future because it's not here yet, you know, to educate yourself. This is them nurturing you. This is your guardian angel kissing you on your forehead and being compassionate because this person cannot. And that's why they're saying work on yourself. Can you see that? Work on yourself. You know, we're here to guide you through all of these things, you know? And so that's where, why this is here the way it is, because, you know, they're going to, they're going to realize that, but you have to nurture yourself and be compassionate about the things that you do, you know, for yourself. You know, this person is blocked off, closed off, shut off, and they want a reunion because they feel like it's soul ties after you left them. But the message and the communication and the travel is coming in, coming in, but the assistance, the spirit guides have telling you, they're giving you the assistance to be able to control the bullshit tactics that this person was having because before they could control you with the messages, the communication and things like that. But now they can't because the universe is nurturing you. So your spirit guides are nurturing you. Um, and when it comes to the way that they used to control you, they're here. So I just said that, you know, I didn't even think about that. Your guardian angel is nurturing you. They're assisting you. They're being compassionate towards you. So when you feel like you need a hug, they're giving you a mental hug and they're telling you to daydream so you can hear what it is that we're saying. And you're going to celebrate your gifts with abundance, you know, of abundance, because you just started to work on yourself. Again, my reads keep coming out the same way. And these are different cards. You have to dig deep for yourself right? You, even though you don't see it, even though you cannot see it, you have to dig deep for yourself. You have to take that leap. You have to be wide open to receive and also to take leaps. You have to live in the present moment, not in the past. Don't hold on to the past and not live in the future because the future isn't here yet. Tomorrow isn't here yet. It's almost here. You have to educate yourself on the things that you want and dig deep in regards to finding your confidence back, you know? Don't be afraid to work on yourself. Don't be afraid to open that new business. Don't be afraid to create that new YouTube. Don't be afraid to get your message out there. Don't be afraid about whoever's going to see you, hear you, or whatever. And nine times out of ten, it hurts because when you have new ideas and you try to tell the family that people that aren't entrepreneurs will not back you. The people who are not like-minded and their belief system is different from yours are not going to support you. So right now, the only support that you have is with the sun, the moon, and the stars, and your guardian angel. But your guardian angel isn't sitting there, and you don't know the difference on it being your guardian angels in the spirit guide. So they're telling you to sit still. And when you get that one not, not, notion to be able to do something, then that's when you go ahead and, and, and say, you know what, let me go after this. You know, let me go after this because I love, uh, I want to start loving myself and doing things for myself. I'm going to pull from... 
my affirmation deck. I haven't pulled from this. I just pulled this from one of my listeners on my read earlier, uh, the game of life and how to play it. And um, yeah, so we need to start doing this. And this is where I got a lot of my affirmations. I just added my own words to them because I know those are the things. And that's how I created. Oh, Katrina, you asked me about my deck. Um, I just created, well, I have several decks that I'm perfecting right now that I'm getting out there for you guys. But my first deck that I actually created was the Empathy Oracle deck. It's the Empath Oracle, actually, by me. Um, I'll show it to you after I pull a card. But uh, it was just emotions that I went through when it came to the things that I needed to do. Listen, the bottom of the deck. The perfect plan includes health, wealth, love, and self-expression. This is the square of life, which brings perfect happiness, right? The perfect plan includes health, wealth, love, and perfect self-expression. This is the square of life, which brings perfect happiness. All right, so that's from the divine design uh, in the chapter of the game. Uh, it says, this is the law of non-resistance chapter. I have a wonderful work in a wonderful way. I give wonderful service for a wonderful pay. This could be work or you can add in your words. I have a wonderful business uh, in a wonderful way. I give wonderful service for a wonderful pay. These are affirmations. I used to say these daily. I still do say them daily. And actually... This is the actual one. I'm just looking at the bottom of the deck. You see me shuffling. This is the one that I just gave to, I want to say her name was Queenie B. Uh, I cannot lose anything that belongs to me by divine right. I am under grace and not under law. Law is made by man. The universe is grace. You know, so again, I cannot lose anything that belongs to me by divine right. I am under grace and not under law. So this is something that you can say you know, depending on a situation, if you feel like this comes towards you and it, it shouts to you, if you feel like you need something in regards to your business and the income, I have a wonderful work in a wonderful way. I give wonderful service for wonderful pay. I have a wonderful business in a wonderful way. I give wonderful service for a wonderful pay. You know, I am always under direct inspiration. I make right decisions quickly. Whatever one feels, and this is about the game of life, it says whatever one feels deeply or imagines, imagine, imagines clearly is impressed upon the subconscious mind and carried out in minute details. So this is what you say. Watch your words. They become your thoughts. Infinite spirit, give me a definite lead. Reveal to me my perfect self-expression. Show me which talent I am to make use of now. That's just basically right now. This is for this read and I'm just pulling through. Let's say it again. Infinite spirit, give me a definite lead. Reveal to me my perfect self-expression. Show me which talent I am to make use of now. So remember I said while you're on that phone and you guys are, your backs are turned towards each other. You should be trying to figure out what it is that you need to do. Your talent. And that's an affirmation for you. I'll read a couple of more. I bless the past and forget it. This is for this read too. I bless the past and forget it. I bless the future knowing it has in store for me endless joy. I live fully in the now. Let's say that again. I bless the past and forget it. I bless the future knowing it has in store for me endless joy. I live fully in the now. That's why the ghostlings come out. So again, look at these cards. They come out exactly the back way. You know, I'm, I'm just pulling through them. Infinite spirit. Don't let me miss a trick. Okay. Listen to this and always understand this. There is a place that I am to feel and no one else can feel. Something that I am to do, which no one else can do. There is only one you and the universe is putting things in plain sight or in your, in, you know, protecting you by letting you know this again, there is a place that I am to feel and no one else can, and no one else can feel. There is something that I am to do, which no one else can do. You be confident, you be confident in, in, in what the universe has for you. You be confident. Remember confidence shines from the inside when you love yourself. Excuse me. 
own your flaws and rock them without caring what others think. The universe is guiding you. You are protected. You are being assisted by your spirit guides. They're nurturing and, and seeing the compassion uh, in you and they're being compassionate towards you but getting your queen of wands back and understand that there is a place the confidence comes there is a place that i am to feel which no one else can feel it says something that i am to do which no one else can do that just tells you confidence shines from the insides when you love yourself own your flaws and rock them without caring what others think you know so uh let's see Let me see which one I want to say. <clears throat> Hold on. This is for something going through, somebody going through um, something. I call on the law of forgiveness to neutralize the situation. That's the law of karma and the law of forgiveness. I call on the law of forgiveness to neutralize the situation. All right. When I am able to let go of my problem, casting the burden. I shall have instantaneous manifestations. So they say, I cast the burden on the Christ within and I go free to have plenty if you have lack, you know? So this book, um, yeah, this book is really good, but the cards, they have some of them in here too, you know? And so that is what you guys have to understand, you know? Um, I cast the burden of resentment on the Christ within and I go free to be loving, harmonious, and happy. Or you can go free to have plenty, you know. So I guess that's something that you needed to hear. Now I'll say my affirmation, which I got from these. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. And remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. So I love you guys. Dig deep. I love you.